All right, so for this trick, I have a wine glass, yeah, deck of cards, yeah, and deck of cards goes into the wine glass. And the reason I'm using the wine glass is because I can't get through it. I can't do any funny business in there. So I'm going to start off by using the nine of hearts there. And we are going to cover it up. And now we have the ace of hearts. Now, we've got the nine of hearts again. And the other red ace is the ace of diamonds. So I'm going to take that. And now we've got the ace of diamonds. Now, we're going to go on to the black aces. And since we're doing that, we're using the nine of clubs instead of the nine of hearts. So, first black ace is the ace of clubs. And now the second black ace, the ace of spades, well, that's harder because it's the biggest ace. It's the best. So, got the nine of clubs again. And there it is, the ace of spades. All right, so we've got a deck of cards here. We're going to take a random card out of here. Let's say that one. We've got the jack of clubs. Now, I'm just going to put it right there for now. And we're going to cut to about halfway through the deck. Okay, put the jack of clubs there, okay, and we're going to make one, two, three cuts. We're going to give it a shuffle, and no, your card is not on top, as some people may think. Okay, I'm going to shuffle, give it another cut, give it a few cuts, give it one more. Okay, so now we're going to take off your card, the Ten of Clubs. But that wasn't your card, your card was the Jack of Clubs. So we're going to take the Ten of Clubs, and we're going to put it right there. Now, I'm going to put a silk over top of it. Right there. So you can still see the card right there. Now, I'm just going to snap my fingers. And now, your card has changed from Ten of Clubs to a Jack of Clubs. Alright, so here we've got a deck of cards. Okay. I'm going to put pick a random card out. Okay. And it is the Two of Spades. Now we're going to take the Two of Spades, put it about halfway through the deck, make three cuts, give it a shuffle. Give it a cut, and give it another cut. And now I would like you to tell me when to stop. So since I don't have anybody here, I'll just stop whenever. So somewhere around halfway, I guess. So stop, okay, take a look at the card. And it's the two of spades. Well, let's try that. I'll just cut wherever. And there it is again, two of spades. Make a cut, shuffle, and there it is again, the two of spades. Give it a series of cuts. And two of spades. Again, flip anywhere, two of spades. Do it again, a little bit higher that time, two of spades. And, yes. There, it's a regular deck. Every single card is in there. All right, so here we have the four kings and a deck of cards. So we're going to take the four kings, put them on top of the deck. Okay, we're going to flip over them over one by one. King of diamonds, king of clubs, king of hearts, all except for the king of spades. The reason we don't do the king of spades is because it is the highest king. It is the king of spades, the ruler of all kings, and it has the power to not change itself into the jacks like the other kings did. Alright, so we have a deck of cards here. I'm going to take three cards off the bottom. Those are all going to go right there. I'm going to put the silk over them so that I can't touch them. Now we're going to ask the spectator to cut wherever they want in the deck. So say they cut right there. They're going to flip this packet around, put it on top. 
Okay, now I'm gonna ask him to cut a little bit lower this time. So they cut lower, flip it around, put it on top. Now this is a process for them to choose their card. So they're gonna find the first face down card from the top. So we're looking, 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 and there we go, first face down card. So I already know. I'm like, oh, you must have chosen the five of spades. They flip it around. They're like, oh my god, how'd you do that? And I'll be like, well very well couldn't have been the other three fives because those are right here. So we start off with a deck of cards and we are going to need to find the ace of spades because the ace of spades in this trick is going to act as our bullet. Now, oh, there it is. So since we have the ace of spades and it is our bullet, we are going to need a gun because naturally bullets go hand in hand with guns. So we're going to ask a spectator to pick a card. So say they pick that one right there, the five of hearts. So we're going to cut somewhere around the middle, take the card, put it in the middle, okay? Put that on top, do three cuts, shuffle, another cut, shuffle, and one more cut. Now since we have the bullet, we need to make a gun. Since I don't have one, I'll have to make one. So we're going to take some of the cards off here. And you're going to craft our gun. Beautiful gun, isn't it? So, since we have the ace of spades our bullet, we're going to put it into the gun, and one card pops out, the five of hearts. 